Hi, my lovely people. Guys, 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 guys. Boy, is we ever going to be able to get on here and say anything good about Jasmine? Oh, so we just got to get right into this one because this one is real, real sad, okay? Now, once again, I got to thank the uh, HBIC, you know, that claps back. That channel, boy, I'm telling you, she is catching everything. She got good ears, good eyesight, and good editing. You go, girl. Now, let's jump right on into this. So, last night, HBIC, she drops a video, right? And it has the recording from Jasmine's Live yesterday. And it's the kids in the background, and they're having their own conversation about how their mom is being hit by Chris. Now, let me repeat that again, okay? Because that is so sad and that is so sick. They are having a conversation amongst themselves about um, their mom getting beat up by her boyfriend, okay? Boy, when I say you can't make this up, this is some crazy stuff. Now, I'm going to say this. How ironic, okay? Jasmine titles the live, oh, let's talk about this. Like she was about to come on and talk about, you know, the whole, you know, ex ma live thing and the, the allegations that are out here about her. She made it seem like that, okay? But when she uh, clicked that live button and I seen all the kids around and they're yelling, they're fighting, they arguing about juice, they screaming, they are trying to eat and, and find out what they're going to eat next and they're just doing all of this stuff. I knew she was going to talk about absolutely nothing, right? Because sometimes she will talk about things in front of the kids because she has uncouth but typically when it's something about chris that's real serious she's not going to talk about that in front of the kids because uh, honey kids are the most honest things here on god's green earth kids are like sponges whatever they see whatever they hear whatever they see someone do they soak it up and they're going to spit it right back out and this is the thing every time jasmine goes live one of her kids regurgitate and spit right back out what they have seen, what they have heard, and what is going on. At this point, I'm really wondering how Jasmine is going to get on here and deny this. Because let me tell y'all something. I went over there and I watched that clip. Then I went over and I found the timestamp. I went over and I watched that live. And when I tell you, when those kids was talking about, Mommy, uh, Chris hit you, Mommy. And then the baby is saying, Yes, he did. When all of this was going on, Jasmine tried, heard every bit that they said, y'all. She tried to over-talk those babies. She was like, oh, you can keep on vlogging every day. Woo, woo, woo. What you say? Oh, boo, boo, boo. She was trying to over-talk those kids so she knew exactly what had happened. And see, if y'all have been watching Jasmine, it seems like lately she has been overly annoyed by her children. Everything that they do, I'm tired of feeding them. I'm tired of looking at them. I'm tired of hearing their voices. Everything that she has been doing, she has been overly exhausted and tired with them because she knows they know the truth. She knows that they will tell the truth and she will not. She knows that she has to deal with those kids when they hit 18, throwing all the stuff that they've been through in their childhood up in her face. You know, kind of like the same way Jasmine does her mother, right? It's a generational curse up in here. The same way that Jasmine says, oh, well, my mom didn't protect me. She didn't do this. She didn't do that. Now, you know, Jasmine, you're broken and you're now raising broken children that's going to turn into uh, broken adults that these people out here in the world are going to have to deal with. This is the one thing that gets me. What in the hell do you have to say for yourself, Jasmine? You can't get on here and mumble and hide behind your mods and say, oh, it was never said and people was lying on me and people was hating on me. No, girl, your own kids said it. They said what they seen with their own two eyes. And if your mods are dumb enough that they can't go and listen to the audio and decipher what the kids are saying, baby, then they may be a little bit slow over there they may share the same genes that they <laughs> baby that you out here passing around on these youtube streets because when i tell you it was real sad that one of your children that are really kind of non-verbal and we can't understand what they said said that clear as day so let that stick with you one of the kids that have speech impediments that take speech therapy said everything plain as day was was talking was repeating was having a conversation so what are you going to say about that then as i continue to watch this stupid old life she sits there and one of the kids say can i touch legendary can i touch you can i touch this and jasmine sits her ass up there talking about some oh i'm I, you know i don't like being touched i don't like being hugged i don't like being touched on Girl, shut up. You don't like being done that by by your children, okay? Because as soon as you get on camera with Chris, you start skinning, you start grinning, you all laying on him, you all hugging on him. You can't keep your hands off of him. You got your head, head laying on his shoulder.
water, you trying to jump into his skin. So stop with all that, oh, I don't like to be touched, I don't like to be this, and I don't like to be that. You just don't like that stuff being done by your children because you secretly don't like them. You know that they can see straight through you. Even though they are young, they know what's going on. They are seeing, girl, you are worse than Ike and Tina. Like I said, you remember on the show, honey, the movie, when they said, Tina, you can't keep hiding black eyes, girl. That's you. That's you. You think that your children don't see this, internalize this, and then speak about back out in the open? They probably are in there playing with their dolls and think that this is a relationship. They're acting it out with these dolls. They're like, oh, well, this is what love is. And then they sit there and they have to see you uh, stuff your mouth and flare up your nostrils and roll around like the big barrel that you are. Oh, Chris is at work. Oh, go get me Chris's charger. Oh, go do this. Chris is this. Chris is that. Chris, Chris, Chris. And then they sit here thinking, Chris, we happy he gone. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, this stuff makes my blood boil like no other with Jasmine. Because, girl, at this point, do you have Munchild Syndrome? Munchild Syndrome, if y'all don't know, is people who love to feel bad for themselves and love people to feel bad for them. They see their mother get excited about a freaking tripod that they also seen a man break during an argument or altercation with their mother. Then they have to sit there, oh, I got a tripod, look what Chris bought me. And the whole time they know you don't order it off Amazon yourself. Girl, this is too much. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. This house, I don't know what's going on over there, but honey, I'm not one. I don't, you know, I've been on this app. I've had people call CPS on me falsely and, and I was able to beat it and everything else. And they got, you know, their justice at the end of the day. Let me just say that. But this right here, somebody needs to step in and save these kids. And I ain't one that usually would like get that deep, that dirty. I don't care who it is. Mama Dukes, whoever, if you know, cause her mama knows what's going on. If you know this kind of stuff is going on, somebody stand up they daddy they uh mama they somebody i don't care who it is they grandmama whoever it is because at this point it has went so far that these kids are either going y'all i'm gonna just tell you this i just be having this vision that every time i see jasmine get on here that something bad it's gonna take something really really bad okay when people like jasmine always want to not be victimized oh you're not going to talk about me like that and want to allow it to keep going and they need to seek love and they need to seek attention and then when they get what they're looking for and they think that you know something like what's going on in her household round number five ding 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 that that is love something has to happen very bad for someone to step in to take a look and say what is going on here whether someone gets seriously hurt or something else this is the craziest right thing that I have ever seen in my life and the fact that all these people that have been on her channel I mean come on even Olivia I'm her friend and I'm trying to help her and I'm this and that girl you ain't never been her friend because if you knew half the stuff that was going on in her house and you didn't drive there and do something about it and get somebody involved then girl you know all these people they they always see that's the thing you ever watch the episode of Stepped People are always out here saying, oh, there's shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I tried and I did this. No, but girl, at this point, Jasmine is beyond help. But no, don't try to say none of y'all helped her when the, the shit hits the fan. That's all I got to say. Or I told y'all so. Because you knew what was going on way before. Olivia, see, I'm talking to you. You knew what was going on in that house for sure way before you busted her out. You were able to hear it one-on-one. -on -one. And every time you hung up, what did you do about it? Did you ever call the police over there? Or allegedly called, you called, allegedly, let's say that, called CPS. Have you ever driven to her house and tried to talk to her? Have you ever offered her to be able to stay at your house? I mean, it's other things that can go on. But y'all, this right here, this stuff has just got my mind blown. I surely cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comments about all this mess because that's exactly what it is. It's a hot, hot mess. I will see you guys in the comments below.